Check out this effect that was created using the Marquee Title tool with an Avid Media Composer. Now, to simplify this tutorial, I've already created a basic text object. If you are not familiar with Avid's Marquee Title tool, please refer to my other tutorials on how to create a basic title with an Avid Marquee. I also have a separate tutorial that demonstrates how to create the light rays shining around the ring. First, navigate to the Tool Sets menu and verify that you are using the Expert Animation Toolset. Then navigate to the lower right corner of the canvas area and right click on the Title Duration Preferences. Change the duration to one second to prevent unnecessary rendering for this particular lesson. Then click on the Ellipse tool within the Marquee Toolbar. Draw a large circle while holding down the Shift key. The Shift key will maintain a perfect circle while you drag. Then click on the Edit tool, which will make the white circle the selected object. With the object selected, you can reposition the circle. Now navigate to the Library window and click on the Texture tab. Drag a texture onto the edge area of the white cylinder in the Surface Properties window. Then click the Enable Lighting checkbox for the edge. This white cylinder represents the face surface, edge, and extruded areas of your object. Now click on the surface area of the white cylinder. Uncheck the Enable Surface checkbox. So now you'll be left with just an edge for your selected object. Click on the Effect tab within the Properties window. Choose an Edge type from the pull-down menu. So now your selected object has just a gold edge. Next, click on the Animation Mode button. Move the Playhead indicator to the end of your sequence. Then click on the Rotate tool. Move the mouse cursor over the blue Y axis ring. When the cursor turns into a crosshair icon, hold down the shift key and drag the ring 180 degrees. Holding down the shift key ensures that you'll end up with a perfect 180 degrees because it will limit your adjustments in 15 degree increments. Okay, let me back up and play through the timeline. Now, notice there's something strange about the animation. The gold ring is on its own 3D plane, and it spins in front of the title. To fix this, navigate to the Layers tab. You should see one layer that contains your shape and your text box. Right-click on Layer 1 and change the layer type from 2D to 3D. Okay, now, when you play through the timeline, your scene is within one 3D plane, and the gold circle spins around the title. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Avid Certified Media Composer training class, visit GeniusDV.com.